You can be in this one for a very long time. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. So there's this 21 Pilots music video that she's really into where um, Tyler wears a <laughs> winter mask. <laughs> Bradley's always been into the like the masks and stuff in the music video, so we got her one. So great. So welcome to this video. We actually are going to be talking about, I would say it's a solution to a kind of a problem. A few videos back, we talked about how we switched her car seat to a booster. And so it had the lap belt going across and everything. And how she would unbuckle it. She would also, some we didn't say it, mentioned that she would, she takes the, the seat belt, seat, the across yeah, seat, the seat belt, belt piece. And she'll push it over her head and stuff. And, and she also she doesn't, she's sliding, she's sliding down and trying to slide out of this car seat or out of the seat belt. And part of it too is because the harness, like the full body harness pressure that she gets in a car seat, I think she's lacking that. We can tell with her day to day life, she's seeking more and more pressure. Even um, go as far as pretend clipping herself into car seats um, throughout her day. Well, after we, after we mentioned that video, one of our WeFam friends, Alyssa, contacted us and let us know about this car seat that goes much farther than our last one does, it as in weight-wise and uh, height-wise. Do you even know what these are? Nah, nah, nah. That's what those are. <laughs> She's like, That's, I was expecting something different than this. <laughs> but anyways, so we knew that there are car seats out there that have higher limits for height and weight, um, but it wasn't substantial enough that we were going to fully replace her seat. But after we had her seat in with the, just the seat belt for over a week, and <clears throat> it just became pretty clear to us that she's not ready to be in a car seat with just a seat belt, um, just because of safety issues. I do take the long drives to Minneapolis and back fairly often and then on top of that any road trips and stuff that we do it's just best for all of us i think to keep her safe and what she needs right now so Alyssa suggested this particular car seat booster it keeps a five point harness all the way up until 90 pounds and braley is 44 pounds right now for the harness it goes from 25 to 90 pounds and 30 to 58 inches and that's just with the five point. Without the five point and using a regular seat belt, this would go up to 120 pounds, which for Braley will be her entire life. Like she would fit in this for the rest of her need of a car seat. So we went ahead with her help and she also was so generous as to contribute and help us buy it too. She offered. Yeah, thank you so much, Alyssa. I'm really excited for this, I think that it's super necessary for her to stay safe and to get that pressure that she's seeking. So this is what's gonna work for Braley. Since we've been, have, had it in our house, she's mm -hmm. been sitting in here and trying to get into it and everything, but. So today's the day we're gonna get this installed in the car and try it out. And it does have a steel frame too, which makes it even Probably safer. Probably way more safe in accidents than the one she currently has. Yeah, well. it just feels, it feels like a, well, it feels like a solid car seat. Because our last one just feels so flimsy compared to well, this. Well, it was a quick fix replacement when we forgot ours in Florida. Yeah, so um, let's get this installed. Braylee, what she's, do you think? I think she's stimming with those. What do you think, Braylee? The air in her ears. Should we get this installed? Get your car seat in? For, uh, what are they, for like food and crafts and stuff, or what? What are they for? 
Well, it's supposed to, we were supposed to work on these for like fine motor. They're jumbo eyedroppers. So you can do like sensory tables or you can use it to practice like the motor skills and put liquid in them and stuff typically. And <laughs> she's like using them just to listen to the, feel the air and listen to them. That's so great. Dual purpose, Braley. Dual purpose. <laughs> First thing I need to do is take out the old one. We just have to put the shoulder straps up. It looks like a couple notches in the the bottom piece looks fine, so I think we got it, B. Can you sit? We're going to test the height on it, okay? Sit. All right, now this lifts up. All right, sit back. Let's see if this is high enough. I think this is good. Uh, maybe you need to go down one. I don't know. Right there. How's that? Right at your shoulders? I think that's good. That's so cool how it just slides up like that. Looking good, B. Looking good. All right, I'm gonna put it in the car now, okay? Can you go back on the bus? School bus? Go bus. Yep, go ahead. I gotta put it in the car now. School bus. Go ahead. School bus. Yep. Then I'm going to put it in the car, okay? Yep. Instructions, something I'm not really good at. I just need to make sure I install this correctly, you know, it's important. Oh, just hit my chin. Alright, B. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Ready? <laughs> How's that? Good? You can be in this one for a very long time. Yep, yeah, it's a good one. Can you say, look, can you say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Alyssa. 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 She don't have shoes on. <laughs> oh. Is that a good one? Thumbs up? Yeah, yeah, okay, do it, do it. Thumbs up? Push up. Yeah. Push that. Stop. Push it. Bed, 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 bed. Open. Good job. Good job. See, I bet you can't wait to go on the red car room ride. And that's it. I mean, yeah, that's all there is pretty much for the day. Braley, time for bed? Is it She's bedtime? Like, Dad said good night. <laughs> you still have to brush your teeth, silly. You have to see stuff to brush your teeth. Say bye. Bye. Found it. <laughs> <laughs>